Welcome to Habit Tutorials. Again, I am Dion Pousel, founder of Money School. In this video, I will show you how to track and analyze hundreds of different markets. If you're ready to take control of your finances, then stick around. To open a new window, select New and Market Analyzer from the Ninja Trader Control Center. You want to make sure you're connected to market data as this is needed to populate its columns. If you need help with this, check out Get Connected to the Market Data video with the new blank market analyzer open. I now need to add some instruments. I can add instruments by right clicking and selecting Add Instruments. From here, I can add individual instruments, use an instrument search option, or add an entire list of instruments. I'll have to doubt 30 lists of stocks for now, but you can always add more instruments from this menu. By default, New Market Analyzer windows will show the last bid and ask prices for all instruments. You can customize the columns to display the data that's most meaningful to you. This is done by right clicking anywhere within the Market Analyzer window and selecting columns. You can see a list of available columns from the top left menu. I'm going to add a net change column. I will select net change, then click add to add the net change to my list of configured columns. For a little more visual representation of the net change, I'll enable color distribution from the properties on the right panel. When I click OK, you can see the net change column populating for each instrument. Many columns can be added including indicator values. If you want to remove columns, that can also be done from the columns menu. I will right click once more and access the columns configuration menu. From the bottom left list, I'll select the column I'd like to remove and click Remove. I'm going to do this with both the bid and ask price column since I'm not too concerned with those values for this set of instruments. When I click OK once more, you can see that both the bid and ask columns have been removed. It's also possible to sort instruments by data values. This can make it easy to see instruments that have the highest or lowest value for net change or indicator. Simply clicking on the net change column title arranges my instruments by their net change values. This can be a very helpful tool in identifying significant market events. Okay, now you have learned about how to track and analyze hundreds of markets in real time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and click the red subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell to be notified for more videos. See you in the next episode.